everyone. This is what you've been waiting for. The NBA on 2K Sports. This is Kevin Harlan joined by Clark Kellogg, Steve Kerr, and Doris Burke. And a quick look here before we tip off at the State Farm starting lineups. First for the Rockets. Jeremy Lin is out there with Harden. And inside at center from Turkey, one of the best defending big men in the game, seven-footer Omar Ashik. Then there's Chandler Parsons. And it's Patterson in at the four slot. And for the Grizzlies, Mike Conley and Tony Allen in the backcourt. And at the center position, an impressive combination of size and skill. The 7-1 Spaniard, Mark Gasol. Then there's Rudy Gay. And it's Randolph in at the fourth. Well, for a long time, the Grizzlies had been looking for something to build on. But with the core group of players that they have now, I think they have a really bright future. This is a team that defends. They play well together, and they've got really good interior passing as well. You mentioned the interior passing, Steve. The Grizzlies worked so well as a unit. Uh, you know, Clark, they just pick you apart. Yeah, and they didn't really have huge assist numbers as a team, um, but Gasol was one of the best passing centers, and Spates and Randolph combined for quite a few helpers as well. Now here's Lynn. The nine-footers on the mark. Lynn's got the first points up on the board for the Rockets. And here is Conley. Into Zach Randolph. That is good. Guys, good job working it down low and getting the high percentage look there. That's good basketball. Well, Zach Randolph last year injured his knee in the fourth game of the season and missed about three months. But the Grizzlies held it together in his absence. And when he returned, obviously, you know, he helped that front line. And that made... The Grizzlies, one of the scariest teams in the Western Conference. A nice shot by Lynn. They're not going to run that play very often, but hey, they'll take it. Way to notch that three. Now we'll go to Doris Burke, who had a chance to talk with head coach Kevin McHale. On his mind, the difficult task of defending Zach Randolph. He said, Randolph's especially tough because he's not only a go-to scorer on the low block in the pinch post, but also a guy who can pick up a lot of second-chance points with his work on the glass. He's a 20-10 and double-double guy for a reason. We'll have our hands full trying to slow him down. Guys, back to you. Thank you, Doris. And I think Randolph only returned from the knee injury last year. Clark, you know, he battled, continued to be tough on the glass, but I really don't think he was 100%. What do you I, think? I agree with you. I mean, again, you can get back on the court after a knee injury, but it's not until that second offseason of rehab and working on your game that you're able to get back to full form. Well, it's no easy task guarding James Harden because he's got the ability to shoot from long range and then the strength and the ball handling ability to get into the paint and keep the defender on his hip and get all the way to the rim. Well, Steve Harden is one of the stronger two guards in the NBA, and when he attacks the rim, he has no problems throwing his body into some bigger guys to draw contact and finish the play. That makes him special. And there's a whistle. That goes on Jeremy Lin. That is his first foul of the game. Outside Gasol. And the pass to Connor. Takes it into the teeth of the D and converts the layup. Conley's got his first basket. Now you look at the Rockets head coach Kevin McHale in just his second full season as an NBA coach. Remember he spent uh, a couple of years as an interim coach for the Timberwolves when he was the GM. But really did a great job with that Houston club last season. Here's Allen. James Harden picking up that last basket. Here's Gabe. Gets the bucket. He is always so in control, guys. Even when he's going hard in the hoop. Very skilled finisher. Here's Harden. Blocked. Here's a sheet. Rises up and throws it down. One fifteen left in the first quarter. And you mentioned McHale's tenure with Minnesota. 13 years as the general manager of the Timberwolves. 
Yet, Steve, unable to really build a consistent winner around the great pick of Kevin Garnett. Well, they had it going for a while, Kevin, when they had Marbury and Garnett, but then Marbury forced his way out with the trade, and uh, Minnesota had a couple of good seasons after that, but then they really went in the tank, and I think it was a, a difficult time. Oh, no! oh, what a throw down there, oh. man! And not much resistance on that jam. Yeah, defensively, you're right, not a great sequence. Well, they lost track of them, and they paid the price. And that last replay, courtesy of Sprite. Conley with it, and it's Lynn picking him up. And there's the whistle. That's going to go on James Harden. That is his first foul of the game. So Memphis ends up going with the new group. Houston with a big group substitution here. Monty Yunus has checked in for a chic. White comes in for Patrick Patterson. Carlos Delfino's checked in for Chandler Parsons. And Tony Douglas is subbed in for Jeremy Lynn. You know, he got one step ahead of the defense on that one. Excellent job. First quarter of action, just under three and a half minutes played. Douglas dishes to White. Goes up strong with one hand and flushes it down. An open lane right there. Pretty much saw the daylight he wanted and took advantage. Yeah, great opportunity, and he seized it without much hesitation. Yeah, a little too easy, if you ask me. The defense really needs to tighten things up here. Kicks it out to Harden. Passes it to White. There's the dish to Douglas. Kicks to Delfino. Dishes it to Douglas. Harden. The three. And the shot is good. Harden's got 14 points for the game. Here's Bayless. Can't hit. The offense coming free and easy as we wrap up the first quarter. 